Hello, today I want to show you a little add-on of mine called KDX Mesh Versions. Let's see how it works. I start by adding an object, let's say a UV sphere. There it is. As you can see in the plugin, it says versions of active objects sphere. That's the one I'm currently working on. I can of course change it, add to it or whatever I would like to do, like normal blender behavior. And at any point in time I uh, could say, well, this looks good to me, but I want to try something different. Then I can make a copy of this by pressing this button. Now you can see another version arising here, and that's the one I'm currently working on now. So if I would alter this object and say, well, the previous one I like better. I press the sphere and there's the other version. Ah, I want this one. Okay. And I want to save this as a version also. I create the button, click the button I mean, and there it is. I'm now in the third version and I can alter this one, like say an inset or whatever, that doesn't matter. There. Now I have three versions, go to the first one, second one, and this one. So it's very nice to have. Uh, the little pins, those are in fact fake user buttons, and that's a uh, default Blender behavior. If I would not uh, save this object right now or save the scene, then only the current mesh is saved and the other ones are discarded but I can prevent that by pinning them so if I would pin these versions all of them will be saved in the blend file and I can also do an auto pinning that whenever I create a version it automatically enables the pin but that's up to you to explain it a little bit better because it's really not something I thought of but it's it's a little trick maybe if you call it with a default blender behavior. An object like the sphere contains a mesh and you can see that over here. There it is. So the object is called sphere and inside the object is a mesh with this name. And look at this. If I would press these you can see all those versions listed here as well. I can switch between this one Maybe here only in object mode, yes. You see, it's just standard behavior of Blender, but my little add-on makes it more easy, I guess. Okay, hope you understand how it works, and have fun with it.